Let me say welcome to Anke Rosemund, the head of the EU Department of the Council of Europe. Thank you very much for joining us and being with us. I already introduced, but I will do it again, Valdan Harbatsunian, Executive Secretary of YMC Europe and Roots for Peace Coordinator, and Adrian Davis, a Youth Director, YMC Kosovo, and a beautiful team behind him there. Uh, and I will immediately give the floor to Vardan for the rest of, of this short ceremony. Thank you all for joining us and being with us. Thank you, Marius. Uh, once again, thank you, Andrew, for joining us. It's a, it's a big uh, pleasure, honor, and privilege for us to have you in our session, even virtually. I am in the same situation like you are, and also there are virtually uh, and Adi. And you and Adi are, are the people who are supposed to receive the, the Roots 2021 Peace Awards. Uh, uh, and in, in case of you, it was it was really a great uh, privilege that you agreed so quickly, you know, to be part of the session uh, and, and to share your, your words with, with, with our young people who are what very uniquely are now sitting together, you know, from 10 countries of Europe and enjoying, enjoying humanity, I must say, enjoying humanity. But unfortunately, like me, Ali, uh, you know, was refused at the last moment to travel to Hungary, so he is, he is uh, sitting there in Kosovo, uh, waiting his medal still to travel to him. Uh, but I, 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 would, I, I would say that um, uh, I, I will very briefly speak about uh, the, the prize itself, and then, and then, uh, if you will agree, first we will have a hand over the, the medal to YMC Kosovo, and then we will finish with handing over the medal to uh, Youth Department of uh, the Council of Europe. Uh, so our youth, our, our, our peace prize is, is uh, composed of two elements. The first element is the prize that goes uh, to youth organizations, YMCA's or any other youth organizations who try to do some peace work in their, in their activities. And they, they actually submit a proposal for that. But the voting, the, the selection of the proposal is done by our Peace Work Institute alumni, YMCA Europe has a Peace Work Institute, which is a repeated training program of peace practitioners, and those 46 Peace Work Institute alumni vote which proposal is the best to get the award. So last year that was YMCA Georgia's proposal, and now we have in the, in the hall representatives of YMCA Georgia uh, who, uh, who were actually also implementing the project which was the award being chosen. And this year the winner was YMCA Kosovo. Right now they are implementing the project which is called Ibridge. I think we'll talk about it. Uh, briefly, uh, so this prize uh, assumes the same medal that goes you know, also to Council of Europe, but also it has a monetary part, which is 10,000 euro monetary grant to go to the organization. So, with your permission, everybody, after if we, we can uh, ask the people in the hall to hand over the medal to somebody who can take it to Kosovo. Then we will uh, listen a couple of words from Adi and then we can see you, okay? So, Marius. So, drum roll, maybe we will. Yeah. Anyone has a trip to Kosovo soon? Um, <laughs> neighbors, neighbors. We can't even go to Kosovo. Uh, neighbors. No? You can keep it. Okay, maybe the age now is the way to do it. <laughs> Would you like to start my words, Martin? If you if you have already peace, who is going to take the medal to you? <laughs> <laughs> they will arrange it. Yeah, I think others, please go ahead. Okay, thank you, Martin. Um, first of all, greetings from our CEO uh, Dorina and our President Patrick. Very excited and very encouraged to see this is one of the first actual gatherings of YMCA, Young People YMCA, in uh, over a year and a half. So, congratulations. Sorry I can't be with you all today uh, or this week. Um, 
that's just the way life is. Uh, I also am aware I owe you all a really good energizer because Paul needs to sit book, so you don't have to worry at all about that. Um, we want to thank YMCA Europe for this uh, peace medal, and uh, I'm joined here today by Agnesa, who's our youth manager, and Roel, who's one of our uh, young leaders, uh, young staff members in Christina YMCA, who are both involved in the eBridge. And what we wanted to do is work with YMCA Serbia, YMCA Ireland, and Northern Ireland to build uh, an e platform where young people can come and they can uh, explore themes around peace and reconciliation. They can learn about no hate speech, they can learn about the SDGs, they can learn about uh, all these kind of other themes, what does it mean to the inclusion, uh, to be inclusive, sorry, uh, you know, what is community, what is the European community. And one thing that's been really difficult for us, and I'm sure for all your lives here, is has been that we've just not been able to meet physically. We're not even sat together now on all the streets. We are somehow still segregated. Um, and what has been uh, a challenge for us is to get online, uh, but we also see opportunity with this. It will not be like this forever, it will pass. We have built a platform which is an eight week training session online, and young people can come and they can work through the platform at their own pace. We've tried to make it a very cool theme like the Matrix, I know that's an old build, but the Matrix 4 is out soon. And we think there's a lot of power in uh, the, in the real world and the online world. Young people being more at risk of radicalization, or being more at uh, risk of being alone, even though they're connected to everybody, or an environment for hate speech, or who knows what in the world that we live in. Uh, so we are building this platform with Ireland and with Serbia, and this will also give young people a chance to uh, try to try peace and reconciliation themes and activities, and maybe we hope that this will be the spark inside them that comes, uh, they will come to us and then say, We want to go to a Council of Europe trip, we want to go to a YMCA Europe trip, we want to do more in peace work, rather than just get young people who are maybe interested but not sure that this is their calling. So, the whole idea of the platform is also to ignite the next generation of young people and young people who are ready to uh, look forward rather than backwards. I know there's a lot of countries in the room here in Kosovo, I don't need to maybe explain to everybody, it's a very painful a recent history with our neighbours in Serbia uh, and we try our best to work with the United States of Serbia to look forward together to make sure that our young people meet. Same with Ireland and Northern Ireland, they are one YMCA and they're doing a lot of amazing peace building. So we just hope that this will be a method to reach people in the pandemic and outside the pandemic. Um, I'm sure I can send some images to Marius and he can share the way to the conference, but we wanted to say thank you to YMCA Europe for, first of all, the trust. Secondly, when you try and do something like this, it's very difficult because of sources, of different media, of different opinions. So I also want to thank YMCA Serbia and YMCA Ireland for being so open, and of course YMCA Europe for their resources in terms of their guidebook and stuff on their website. So right on from everybody here in Kosovo, we hope the platform will be open in October when the restrictions have lessened. We have young people coming, and we have tablets ready for young people who don't have access to engage, uh, but we're ready to run. And I also hope some of you guys in Budapest who are also interested can speak to Marius and also can join us for eight weeks on our online platform. So from us in Kosovo, thank you very much, and it's really a pleasure to accept this award on behalf of the Kosovo movement. Thank you, Adi. And our cooperation continues, uh, and uh, I'm sure we, we, we will make this world a little bit better place, if not fully, but a little bit better place. And uh, uh, please make sure that you get the medal, because the medal is a beautiful one. I want to tell a little bit about it, because uh, at least for you and Adi, it should be interesting. Uh, it's, a, it's a medal which is designed by one of the Peace for Peace to Galenize. Uh, army from Armenia, and uh, uh, on the back of the medal, it is uh, the sculpture of Sergei Panajarov in Tbilisi. Uh, because when we started the roots, it was a project between Armenia and Georgia, and we decided to 
we decided to find a symbol that unites us as Pascal nations. And then we realized that Sergei Parajanov was uniting not only Armenians and Georgians, but also many other nations in the, in the former Soviet Union. And this he has a very beautiful, uh, he, he, he was not a very kind of handsome man, you know, he, he was like me, you know, he, he belly and, you know, uh, short legs and so on so on. But in, in this moment, he's trying to fly, fly you know, and then they captured him somehow, this more beautiful moment. And then his flight is, is kind of passed to dark past, you know, and, and that makes the peace sell. The metal is curved. It's a handmade, and so every time, every year we make a medal, we approach to this artisan, uh, and he is also a very, very interesting guy from Armenia. His grandfather was one of the most famous Armenian writers, a hero of the Soviet Union, you know, for, the, for that time it was at the highest level of medal. Uh, and, uh, and he's a very nice guy, so he's making it with hand, this medal. Uh, and uh, so the medal itself has a story, so it's not just uh, it's not just a try. Now, having described the medal, I would like to to uh, not not officially, but from my side, to present it to Abdiye, uh, director of the Youth Department of Council Europe. We have sent the letter. The letter eloquently says, you know, why we do it. How big is our respect to Council of Europe? How very much we value the role of Council of Europe in playing, uh, you know, as an international organization for, for, for standing for peace and human rights in Europe. And it's all written. And I know for you guys in the hall, it's somewhere there in the webpage, but for you guys it's more important the personal story. And many of us have beautiful journey together with Council of Europe, even if we didn't know this problem. Because the European Youth Centers in Budapest and Strasbourg, the European Youth Foundation, which is supporting the role of our activities, these are wonderful facilities created by Council of Europe to empower young people to stand for human rights, for peace and reconciliation, for youth empowerment, and for many other uh, priorities. And they do it very silently, very modestly. And Council of Europe Youth Department, I strongly believe that 100% deserves very much appreciation of what, what kind of work they have done. And I feel it on my own, in my own life. I love the building you are sitting there around there. It's been part of my formation, you know, the Strasbourg uh, European Youth Center Strasbourg, the Budapest Center, and many, many journeys. We, we learned a lot from Council of Europe, your resources. Uh, we were empowered by the teaching youth transforming conflicts, making our own guidance, peace guidance. So our journey has been really an empowering one. And we hope that this medal will just a little bit empower you back apart from us as an organization who has benefited a lot from you. Thank you very much for, for to Council of Europe for all the years of support of YMCA Europe. I'm saying this on behalf of YMCA Europe, Executive Committee and the staff, on behalf of our Secretary General Juan Simon Iglesias and our President Emma uh, uh, and I would, I would really ask now, the, the laureate of the previous year's Peace Award, YMCA Georgia representative, to hand the medal to Council of Europe representative, and then we will have the floor with Andy and with Michael. One more gratitude for everyone. For
my uh, my uh, greetings to the room A uh, in the European Budapest, uh, in the European newsletter in Budapest to the fourth floor. It's so nice to see you sit there and uh, to have uh, one of the YMCA study sessions um, in person and not in um, not online. Um, I, I'd like to start by first of all saying thank you. Uh, as an uh, institution like the Council of Europe, I, uh, we are used to, to give awards and we are used to give out certificates. It's not so often that we get one, so uh, we are particularly happy uh, that we get it because uh, it is true what Vardan said, uh, the motivation uh, is also uh, the feedback that we get from our partners and that we get from our beneficiaries of our services. So uh, the, the YMCA is one of our oldest uh, partners in the civil society field and therefore we are particularly proud uh, that you give this uh, award to us. I would also like to extend my warmest congratulations to the other laureates, our, uh, the YMCA in, in, in Kosovo and Ireland, I understand. Uh, and it's nice uh, that Ali has two um, people who are in the operations uh, with you. And I was thinking, who should stand behind me today uh, to take this, this award? And this would be quite a big number of people that supported uh, the Council of Europe Youth Sector over many years. I mean, for, first of all, the educational advisors uh, that help you to implement your activities, the staff of the European Youth Centers that try to make you feel at home in the Youth Centers and feel that we are not only promoting human rights, but we are also practicing human rights approaches in our own work. Uh, the staff of the European Youth Foundation that is not only reading the applications but also advising our, our partners in improving their activities and, and being daring and try out new things. And uh, all, all the Council of Europe and all its member states that gave you such a prominent place in our organization because you in the Council of Europe is, uh, is a very big sector uh, and a very uh, active sector with own staff. We are not outsourcing our work. We are doing it in the organization and we are opening the doors of the Council of Europe to the young people. And to receive uh, um, an award uh, for peace and reconciliation amongst the well-being across the continent, I think fits very well. And when preparing for this little ceremony, I thought uh, I have to share with you um, something from the statute of the Council of Europe. Uh, the Council of Europe uh, this year is 72 years old. I know the YMCA is much, much older. Uh, what we have in common is that both our organizations were founded in London, in the United Kingdom. And uh, you were founded as a, as a YMCA in the, sort of in, in, the, in the area of industrialization, which created new needs for, for people and uh, humanity on health and being together on social support. And the Council of Europe was created in 1949 on the ruins uh, of the World War II, of the Second World War, where our founding um, member countries said, we want this never ever to happen again. And I, I'd like to read just two lines from our uh, founding document from the Statute of the Council of Europe to you, which uh, was signed in London on the 5th of May um, on, in 1949 by our founding members. And there's a long introduction, and then it says, we are convinced that the pursuit of peace based upon justice and international cooperation is vital for the preservation of human society and of civilization. We reaffirm the devotion 
of our country to the spiritual and moral values which are the common heritage of our people and the true source of individual freedom, of political liberty, and the rule of law, and the principles which form the basis of all genuine democracy. We consider we have to respond to this need of a closer unity between all like-minded countries. And we therefore create an organization which will bring European states into closer association and we call it the Council of Europe. This were at the time uh, 10 countries, very brave at the time after World War II to say we want to stand up for human rights, democracy and the rule of law. Today we have 47 member states that have uh, underlined uh, that they want to work together for these values. But we cannot do this alone. Uh, an institution like the Council of Europe does not stand alone. We need our partners because human rights are not being promoted only by, um, and humanity, you would say, in your language, are not only promoted by a legal text, they must be lived by the, by the citizens of Europe. And this is why we are cooperating very closely with civil society and uh, you are one of our most uh, trusted and uh, long-standing partners of the Council of Europe you feel. And I would like to thank you all, uh, the organization, its members, and also uh, the previous generation. Not only for what you do in your organization, because you are investing your free time, your energy in the good of society and in, um, in social cohesion, uh, in humanitarian action, but also for feeding back into our system, because we have uh, the convention system in the Council of Europe where young people are part of the decision making and the YMCA has very often been represented in our advice council news and, and in other uh, activities which are shaping the programs and the strategies that we in the end uh, are trying to implement with our instruments, the youth centers and the foundation. What we have in common is we all want to make the world uh, a better place. Uh, we want to make it better um, than we found it. And I thank you for that because it's getting more and more difficult to, uh, to do good things. Um, and it is it's getting more and more uh, questionable also at the moment uh, how we can do good things in a situation where the people are being kept apart uh, rather than being put together. Organizations like yours and the Council of Europe have a responsibility to uh, work against uh, self-centeredness and egoism, which was also one of the synergy effects of this uh, of this pandemic. And uh, we uh, trust in you, and I hope that also in the future you can trust in us uh, in being partners in making this better world and in making this society a uh, society where people look after each other, where they support each other, and where they are promoting, uh, promoting these values uh, that we have in common, and among them, of course, this international understanding and uh, human rights and democracy. So thank you very much uh, for that um, medal and that award. We appreciate this very much. I will share this with my colleagues, of course. Uh, we will bring it to Strasbourg because in the Palais de l'Europe, in our headquarters, we have a place where we are exhibiting the awards that we receive. It's not a big place, so next time when you come, I will tell you where it is. And, and you can find uh, the YMCA medal after, uh, between uh, other awards that we have received. Thank you very much, and to all participants and the team in the study session in Budapest, I wish you a wonderful time and stay healthy so that we can have many more physical activities in our centers, uh, also when others still stay behind their computer screens. Thank you.
very out of the set and uh, you know back to the roots. And you know our project is called Roots for Peace, and that, that's what, what empowers us. You know when we find our legacy, you know in, in years uh, years back. And uh, you know now we live with uh, we live with the hope that we will come to Budapest to get proud of our medal sitting there in the ballet uh, ballet room. Thank you very much, and I think uh, with this uh, virus, uh, with your permission, I will your permission, your permission, we can adjourn the session. Uh, it was planned out an hour, so we speak uh, in, in the time. And just last words from me, I, I, I just want to echo what Dante said, what Abby also wished you, you know, we wish you a healthy, robust event, and we, we are looking for post stories from this event, and we are looking for the, the follow-up of this event. Uh, I see in the room many, many people who can very well qualify as participants of the next next cohort of the YMC Europe Peace World Institute. I'm sure Myers and Reza are already talking to you. Thank you very much. Stay well. And peace be with you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, for your words, and for sure we are not going to disappoint anyone among the participants or you yes because we said from the beginning that we are going to be a voice not an echo yes okay so thank you thank you for being here